Hi, I'm Scott Baker with Hobby's Acorn Braids. Today I'm going to show you how to fit your campaign hat cords to your campaign hat so it doesn't look like this, but instead it looks more like this. All right. To do this, you're going to need a good set of needle nose pliers, a good set of scissors, and a paper clip. Either one large paper clip or possibly two small ones. For the sake of time, I've gone ahead and taken a large paper clip and straightened it out, and I'll show you how to use that in a little bit. You'll notice that with an original set, they're very much too long. Um, some people will tie them in a knot like that, but even at that, they're still too long. A standard set of cords is too long for a hat, so we trim them down, and I'm, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Once you strip your hat down, you take your cords off and you have your bare hat, I strongly suggest spraying it with an enamel gloss black paint. Spray the entire hat, that will give it extra rigidity, extra waterproofing, and overall it just makes it look better. But a, a gloss black enamel spray paint, um, two or three coats of it, will, will really help your hat out. Okay, so we have here is just a set of standard issue uniform supply gold and black hat cords. We call them naked cords because they're not braided. Uh, they don't look like the, uh, the acorns that they should. Um, Halby's Acorn Braids does the braiding to make them look like the acorns. This is a North Carolina Highway Patrol tradition, um, but other agencies are starting to branch out and use this. Um, I'm going to show you how to take these end caps off so that we can adjust it and fit it to our hat. You need this, your needle nose pliers and you're going to stick that into the end and as long as it fits into the end of that acorn you're fine. You're going to be able to push hard, break any glue that might be in there and pop it out. Once it's broken loose just gently fish it out. You'll see that it's doubled up in there. Once you get it, pull it out gently. It may take a little effort but you're not going to hurt it and get it free. Do the same with the other one. Take your needle nose pliers, stick it as far as it'll go. Gently work out the acorns and you're done. We're going to leave the center slide in place because there's no sense on unraveling it. All we need to do is shorten it. Okay, so you have your hat. You have holes on the front and back, so you need to look and make sure that you have the front of the hat. You're going to set your cords on there, lining up your center slide. And we're going to tighten it up. Doesn't matter if these are even or not because we're about to trim them off. You do want it straight. And you want it to wear whichever hat cord is on top over here runs across the top all the way around. Push it down. And pull it tight. Make sure that it's down where you want it, all the way around the hat. Okay, so now we're ready to start tr looking at where it is we're going to actually trim off and, and, and have the acorns fitting. And this is a personal choice for you if you want them longer, uh, out touching the, the brim of your cap, or if you, have the, if you want it shorter, about halfway, you can do that. I even see some of them who will put it just about flush. But what you need to do is kind of know where it is that you want it, how far out you want it. If, if you want it to look like this, or you can make it longer, or you can make it shorter. But we're gonna look and see exactly where it is that 
that we may want it. And again, it's going to be doubled up when it when we reinstall it. We we'll put the caps back on it. The cords to it are going to come out to about the end. So we're going to make it just a little bit shorter than where we want it. So right about there maybe on this one. You, if you understand what it is that we're about to do, just keep watching and I'll show you. That's about a good length right there for, uh, for to start with. So we will bend it up. What we're going to do is we need about that much, about a thumb's width to stuff back inside the cord. So we're going to cut off this extra. I don't advise cutting it very short to start with because you may have to, to trim more later and it's best to cut too little than it is to cut too much. So let's just start by making a nice clean cut right here. So that's the first cord. That's where the first cord is going to be. So let's pull this out and do the same thing over on this side. You can kind of ballpark it if you want. Pulling them up to where they're even, kind of like what you do with your shoelaces. And you get a rough idea of where it's going to be. And that's, that's a decent length right there. So, at this point, you can go ahead and reinstall them by having them doubled up taking them and stuffing it with your fingers back in there as far as it will go and then taking your needle nose pliers and jamming all of that back up in there as far as, as you can get it. Use a little force, you're not going to hurt it, jam it up in there. Now, the difference between this and this, you'll notice there is no movement in this. Doesn't matter if it's upside down, hanging on the back of your seat, if the wind's blowing, anything that happens, these cords don't move. And that is because I have taken a piece of paper clip and run it from just about the end of the uh, braid into just about the center of the slide. These right here do not have it. The other one will be as loose as this one and it will flop around as personal choice as to whether or not you want it stiff or if you want it loose it's up to you but I am going to show you how to do it like this what you need to do before you put your cap on we've got to put a piece of wire in it this is your paper clip that has been straightened out and you're going to about guess as to how long you're going to need it. You don't need it to run the full length of the slide uh, of the cord from the bend to the slide, but you need it pretty close. So we're just going to guess right here, and I'm going to take the, the needle nose pliers and just cut off a piece right here. That's about a, a good length right there for this, this set of cord. So what, what you do is take your piece of paper clip, hold it in your needle nose pliers, figure out where it is that, that you want about the end of it. We're gonna jam it into the inner part. You'll see that the inner part is just cord. Um, and so we're gonna get past into that, the, uh, the shiny, gold and black metallic wrap and we're going to get into that cotton cord and then we're just going to slowly feed it into it and you'll feel it running in into the cord as you feed it it is tricky
keep your finger alongside of it so if it pokes out before you'll know it and you can back up adjust the angle and keep going see how that poked out so we want to maybe twist it a little bit Keep adjusting. And by this time, the end of it's just about into, into where the slide is, and that's going to be just perfect. All right, so you see there, there's no, there's no movement in there. It's stiff. And the only it is it's going to have the shape that, that we give it here in just a moment and it won't move after that so at this point we're going to double it back up push the cap back on it hold it with the pliers if you need to and jam it all back in there So, this side still wiggles, this side doesn't. Again, that is personal preference as to how you want it. But you can take this, bend it, give it a kind of a natural curve if you want, but it will stay there, and you do the same with the other side, and it will stay and maintain that shape just like this one does. It doesn't move. It's still, you can move it with your fingers, you can reshape it if you want. Um, but other than that, that's how it's gonna look every time it's on your head. Once you get your cords done, you're pretty much done. You can go ahead and put your strap back on it at that point. Another tip I recommend for, for your strap, um, if you've got a loose strap that, that flops and uh, doesn't stay where, it, where it's supposed to be, a little drop of Elmer's white school glue right behind there flush against there will hold it there um, and it, if you ever have to take it off again you can pull it off it might be a little tiny white piece of plastic at that point uh, that it that it dries at but it, it just scrapes right off there was one here and you can't even can't even tell you'll finish wrapping it around and then you're done you put the rest of your hardware on there but you'll see there that doesn't move, everything's lined up, everything's centered, and that's the way it should look. Again, cords versus the nakeds, much, much better. So that's pretty much how you fit a set of hat cords to your campaign hat. Here at Hobby's Acorn Braids, we'd like to thank you Halby's Acorn Braids makes a variety of colors for any campaign hat uh, combination that you need. These are the North Carolina Highway Patrol standard issue gold and black hat cords. She also does silver thread, silver cords, silver and black cords, and solid gold cords uh, with a variety of colors of threads including black, silver, and gold uh, combinations to go on your campaign hats for to match whatever your uniform or your current issue is. Go to www.hobbiesacornbraids.com uh, for all your ordering information. Thank you.